Hi guys, it's Dwight again. I did um, a previous video just a moment ago when I mixed up the blue paints, but what I learned is you really couldn't see the paints as well as I'd like to have shown you. So I'm gonna do another color and I'm gonna use the Deco Art, um, what is it? Rich Espresso. So, what I do is I shake it up since it comes in these two ounce tubes or little bottles and I just dump it in. I like to add a little bit of water to the, to the, the bottle, shake it up to make sure I get as much of the paint out as I can. And then dump the rest of that in. Okay. So I also use um, Floetrol, which I think a lot of us use. And I also have some uh, Liquitex pouring medium. So I just add a little bit of Liquitex pouring medium in. But I add, excuse me, as I get some stir sticks, I add two ounces of Floetrol. So what I do is I strain my Floetrol to get any of the um, lumps that are in there because that usually gets in the way of a good pour. So I learned that lesson and saw somebody do it. Some people use pantyhose I've heard, but since I don't wear pantyhose, I'm not gonna do that. Haha, -ha. okay, here we go. So I show you the consistency um, and what I sometimes do then is add water. Um, this kind of came out with a nice consistency so I won't have to add as much water to it. Let's see if I can get, a, get you a better view of this. You can see how thick it is. Maybe that's better. Okay. So I'm gonna add some water. I have um, some just basic water uh, from a jug. It's, uh, I think it's just purified water from the grocery store. And I have the syringe that, that holds a tablespoon of water. So I just put three tablespoons of water in. And I just mix it in. I like my consistency not to be too thick, especially when I do a dump and pour, which is what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow on a 24 by 24 canvas. And I'm gonna use a little bit less paint than I did on my last pour, which I know I used a lot of paint on that one. And um, we'll see how this one turns out. So this looks a little bit better. Hopefully you can see. It just sort of comes off and it goes into the, goes into the paint. It doesn't really mound, but yet it doesn't sink. You may have to add just a little bit more water. But that's the basic process. And so what I'm gonna to do tomorrow also before I start is I'm going to show you how I prepare my canvases um, and how I level them before I pour. And so hopefully I answer some questions and I hope the pour goes well and I'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Dwight again, I'm back um, yesterday. I did a video on mixing up my paints just to kind of show you the consistency that I use. And so I'm now going to put in, um, i show you how I set up my canvas and get that ready for a pour. So this is a 24 by 24 canvas. It's upside down. What I typically do is get a spray bottle just of regular water, or I'll just use distilled or other bottled water that I use to mix my paints with. And... I will spray it. I'm not sure how much you can see. I want to get it as taut as possible. Maybe some of you already know this or do this. It dries pretty fast, so this is just a little bit of water. Do a little bit more. That was an awkward angle for me, so it wasn't squirting very well. 
There we go. So you want it to be able to sound like a drum. If you can hear that, it's getting, it's getting there. So what I do, again, sorry if the angle is not that great, but I um, use C hooks. They are these little metal hooks. You can get them at any hardware store. Um, and I screw them into the wood of my canvas. And that way I can level it um, to make sure that the paint doesn't run off, which of course it can do. I've done that numerous times in the past. And sometimes you end up getting a canvas that also has, um, it's warped, so it's crooked. And that can impact how the paint dries as well. So when you have these C hooks, what you can end up doing is you can tighten them or loosen them as need be for your, your, for your painting to level the corners and sides. So I have a level that I use as well. So I take a push pin, like a thumbtack, and I make a starter hole because I just can't screw those in. And then what I do is I just take it Hopefully you can see that in the hole. And I put it in. Now I'm going to try some magic and see if I can make this work. I've done this enough that surprisingly, sometimes I get my canvas completely level without having to adjust any of the, the C hooks. So since I'm videotaping this, of course, that's not going to happen today. But hey, you never know. Just as an FYI, you can get C-hooks that have thinner, um, like screws that go into the wood much easier. Uh, these were bigger and I use them for my bigger paintings. Bear with me here, this one's giving me a little bit of a tough time. Well, that one's not going in very well, so let's try it a little bit more. There we go. So I'll turn it around and then do these sides and then we'll see what we have to do for leveling. Of course, they're not going in as easily as I had hoped. Whoops. That's okay. Make the hole a little bit bigger. The problem is you gotta hold them in place, but you have to push down at the same time. Or if you do it, you can use a drill as a starter. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. I'm making a fool of myself. Um, but I'll have this all prepped, turned over and ready to go. And we'll be back in a few minutes and I will show you my new idea for today's painting. Thanks. Okay, I'm back from that short intermission. Um, sorry about that. I, I just couldn't get that one C hook in and I had to kind of work at that. But the good news was, is that when I was done, the whole canvas was completely, well, it was pretty level. That was as level as I could make it. Okay, so I, as you see, I prepped my canvas. I have it pretty much ready to go. And I'll go over my colors again for today. So the base colors I'm doing in black, and that is um, Artist Loft Acrylic Flow Black. <clears throat> um, I have Decoart um, Metallics Rich Espresso. So this really great uh, metallic brown. It's really nice. And then I have um, Deco Art Extreme Sheen Sapphire. Now, I'm not going to use all these colors today. That's my goal. So there's the sapphire. And then I have um, Deco Art Metallic White Pearl. And that's going to go in between both colors. So that's a nice, it's 
sort of an off-white pearl color. It's got some nice luminous luminescence to it. That's a word. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the espresso. I'm going to pour here, and then I'm going to pour a little bit of white up here, still connected, and then some blue. And I'm going to dump my black this way, and I'm going to my goal is to tilt in this corner first. I want to spread the blue out and then bring it back and then move it to cover the corners. So that's the goal. Fingers crossed that we can make that happen. Okay. So I probably will be quiet during this process because I tend to get a little nervous and hope that it works out the way I'm wanting it to work out. Okay, here we go. Once I pour some of the black out, I do want to, to tilt it a little bit, bring it around, um, swirl it to get some coverage. Good, 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 good. And that's what I'm going to do. Next thing I'm going to do is start get some of my co covers, my corners covered, especially since I have a little ways of this to travel. Okay. in there. <laughs> I even spilt on my pants. So let's watch this for a minute.
on my pants. So I'm still stretching this a little bit. Let's see, I wanna... Okay. Get around to this side here. Just want to bring this back a little bit. Okay. It's looking good. Awesome. So what I'm going to do right now is I am gonna put it on time-lapse and let it sit for another 30 or 40 minutes. I think it's gonna fill in a little bit more. Um, through here, I believe, and around. And um, <clears throat> I will be back and we will check out the results together. Just get, make sure everything's covered. Awesome. Okay, we will see you in a bit. Hi guys, I am back from about 30 minutes on time-lapse. I can see where it's filled up a little bit in the blue, which is nice, and I think it probably might do just a little bit more as time goes on. So I'm gonna bring you in for a close-up, starting over here, pardon the glare. I love I love the cells that came up with the, um, oh, what was it called? The Rich Espresso. that looks beautiful. Um, also over here where they mixed in with the white. And then some of the blue cells have, um, well, the, I don't know what color that is, white with gray and a little bit of, of the other color in there. So overall, I'm pretty excited. It turned out pretty good. I wasn't quite sure what to expect. A couple of things I've learned about um, the colors here. One, the um, regular metallics seem to make cells like this. You can see, see the, the sides, how that looks. Looks kind of cool. And those sides there. Um, and the extreme sheen tends to make extreme cells and they can get quite big. As you can see there, which is nice if you want to fill up some space like that corner. Um, but I'm going to experiment, I think, with more of these, of these smaller cells, um, and we'll go from there. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this compilation of three or four videos. Um, 
and um, I will talk to you later.